What is up fellow travelers, Ducky O'Brien here and this is my guide on drop pod farming. I, I believe this is the fastest and most convenient way to unlock all of your inventory slots in your exosuit, including a general technology and cargo. And you do that by using the drop pod. So I'm gonna go over this real quick. It's fairly simple. You only need a few things unlocked. Uh, you do need to farm a little bit of money beforehand to buy the necessary ingredients, but let's show you how the drop pod works. First you find one, they're on pretty much every single planet. You go inside, you access the uh, upgrade module, and here you need a certain number of materials for you to upgrade this. So you need 45 sodium nitrate, 40 oxygen, and you need 55 ionized cobalt and then you need antimatter and antimatter is 25 chromatic metal and 20 condensed carbon so you just have the materials and then you unlock these and then it will give you the option to unlock one additional slot on your exosuit so you can pick between these three things now before the beyond update when the stack sizes were 250 for general and 500 for cargo you generally wanted to expand your cargo slots first but now that for the beyond update you can have incredibly large stack sizes up to 9999 uh, it doesn't matter what you upgrade first it's up to your preference so i'm just gonna get some general slots upgraded now i think this is better than using the space station because you have to travel to a new system and then you have to access the space station and then you have to buy the upgrades and it gets really expensive so i believe this will save you time and money in the long run now what you do here after you unlock the drop pod is you call down your exocraft so you're going to have to have your exocraft unlocked which is going to take uh 10 salvage data and uh, it's fairly cheap to build uh, I don't know why I can't summon this right now there we go go inside and then you're gonna have to have the exocraft signal booster unlocked as well which takes a couple hundred nanites it's not too hard and then here we're gonna scan for drop pods and it will show you the location of a drop pod now you get out you bookmark it with your visor and then you hop into your exocraft. I mean your, uh, sorry, spaceship. Where's my safe spaceship? Uh-oh. <laughs> There's animals. Violent animals attacking me everywhere. And I can't find my plane. Interesting. Where did I put it? There it is. Alright. Another thing to note here. You would probably want to bring a lot of launcher fuel or have the efficient launch thrusters as well as the launch thruster recharger on your plane so for me i was lucky i bought this shuttle and it happened to come with the here we go the recharger so what this does is it will slowly refuel the launch thrusters over time anyways here we go so what you do is you go to the next drop pod uh, make sure you align your ship so the tail is for aligned to the, the previous drop pod and the nose is aligned to the new one you're going to. Just so that the next time you use the exocraft to scan for a drop pod, if it's going back to the direction you came from, it's probably going to the one that you came from. And when that happens, you go into space, uh, pulse jump a short distance away and drop down and do it again. It just means that you gone through all the drop pods in the area you can call down your extra craft ahead of time and then go access the safe beacon here so that you know if it's a new drop pod or not if it's a new one it will say unknown sector so this is the added benefit of saving your game just in case something goes wrong you get nav data as well as an area to upload and get free nanites and your discoveries again you do this so what you want to do beforehand is to go into a space station and buy the necessary materials in bulk again it's 45 sodium nitrate 40 oxygen 
55 INS Cobalt and a 1 Antimatter for 1 drop pot so you can make multiples you can purchase it. So I bought 10, uh, more than 10, uh, multiple of 10 drop pots. So that'd be 450 sodium nitrate, 400 oxygen, 550 INS cobalt, and 10 antimatter. And you can just burn through these super quickly. And it didn't cost that much money as well. Just buy it from the space station. And if you need to make money, you can either dig up the salvage tech, you can go to a planet with ancient bones, I'll have all the necessary materials needed in the description below so you can pre-purchase everything ahead of time. Anyways, there you have it. This is probably the fastest and most convenient way for me that I found to unlock all of your inventory slots. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Anyways, thank you so much for dropping by and thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Once again, till next time.